In previous videos, I showed you how we can use QED Wiki, our mashup maker, to create and then share mashups. What I'd like to do in this video is to go behind the scenes and see how do we get the information that we use in a mashup. Before I begin, I want to hit some of the basics in that QED Wiki is a mashup maker. It runs in a normal web browser with no special plugins or extensions, and it's wiki based, so it does all of the normal things that a wiki might do. I want to show you a mashup that we've created first, and then I'll show you how to add a widget to a mashup like this. In this mashup, the top widget here is something that might be used for someone in the shipping industry. It contains information about charterers, vessels, etc. When I select a ship in this widget, QED Wiki passes that information to this widget, goes out on the web, gets detailed information about the vessel, including the latitude, longitude. QED Wiki passes that to this widget, Google Maps, shows me the location of the vessel, and at the same time, passes that latitude and longitude here to AccuWeather. So here are the surface winds around that vessel. I can look at uh, something like the wave heights around that vessel. There's a lot more to this mashup than I'll go into here. Let's take a look at how we could add one of these widgets. So I've actually created a page which is a partial of what I just showed you here. This one just shows the vessel information here, the vessel details here. I'll enter into assemble mode because I want to add a widget. I'll go over to my widget palette and let's search on weather and find all of the widgets out on my server that are related to weather. There is the one I want, maritime. I drag it, drop it into my mashup, and I've added the widget. But now I need to wire it. So I'll select the properties for this widget. I need to determine what is the data source where it's going to get its information from. Notice one of the choices is vessel details, which is the name of this widget. I'll select vessel details, select apply, QED Wiki passes the latitude, longitude to the maritime forecast widget. Now AccuWeather gives me, in this case, the surface winds. So I just wired the information together, wired two widgets together in my mashup. If we go to the next step, though, how do I get the information into the widgets? What's behind that? Let me do a search out on the web. And in this case, I'll do a search on maritime and RSS, and we'll find a feed that might fit into the mashup we're working with. There's a feed. It's Maritime Research and Markets. I select it. It's a typical feed with news information, etc., for this industry. What I'll do is go to Firefox, copy the URL, then I'll go over to Mashup Hub. Now, Mashup Hub is a place where we catalog widgets, we tag widgets, we can share the widgets, and in this case, what I'm going to do is create a new one. I'll give it a name. I'll call it Maritime Research. I'll give it a description and I'll call it, uh, uh, let's see, David's Demo Widget. Let's give it some tags, something that someone might search on. And so in this case, it's um, Maritime and I'll put Demo and Video because those are some I might search on. When I select Continue, Mashup Hub wants to know, is this an XML file? Is it from IBM Information Server? Is it uh, Access Query? Is it from an Excel spreadsheet or DB2 Pure XML? It could be an SQL statement. I could upload a widget, or in this case, it's an RSS feed. I select the RSS feed option. I'll select Paste, and I just put in the URL we grabbed from that Maritime Research and Marketing site. I save the changes, and I've just created a widget. Now, I want to use that widget in a mashup. So, I'll go over to another server. I'm going to create a page on this server. Now, it doesn't have to be on the same server that Mashup Hub is on. I'll create a page called um, Demo Video. I'll make it a blank page. After I create the page, I'll go again into Assemble mode. And this time, I'm going to go to my widget palette, and instead of selecting from a local data source, I'm going to select with this drop-down list, Mashup Hub. That's the one I just created the widget on. And I'll search on Video, because that's one of the tags I gave it. 
I select Go. There's the widget that we, we just created from that RSS feed. I drag it, I drop it onto the page, and that's it. We harvested an RSS feed, made it into a widget, cataloged it in Mashup Hub, added it to a page, and now I can use it in all of my other mashups as well. But what if I don't want all the information? What if I want to filter down just the information specific to my task at hand? That's where Damia comes in. This is Damia. It allows me to do things like, if I had an Excel spreadsheet that had my charterer information and then the customer number that I applied to that charterer, and I wanted to filter that down because there's extra information I don't want. Then perhaps an RSS feed, like the one we just had. But there again, I want to filter that down to just financial information. I don't want all the other news. I want to merge the Excel spreadsheet information along with the charterer information so that I just get hits on my customers. Then I want to sort that in the order that I want it to appear on my page. Then I publish the information and now it's an RSS feed which I could consume into a widget just like we did with the Maritime Marketing and Research RSS feed. The key to this is that it's all about the information, whether it's out on the web or it's inside my firewall, I want to be able to use the information, unlock the value of the information, and make it easy for my line of business user to mash it together, create a situational application to quickly get the job done using the tools that they want. This is a lot in a very short period of time. These are emerging technologies from IBM. If you want to learn about these or about other things that IBM is doing around Web 2.0, please visit us at www.ibm.com web2o.